To gain access to the abdominal cavity, small incisions are created on the abdomen. Trocars, which serve as passageways for the surgical instruments, are placed into the incisions. The surgeon examines the abdominal cavity using a laparoscope or video camera. A small stomach pouch is created using a stapling device. This smaller stomach pouch restricts the amount of food that can be eaten before feeling full. The small intestine is separated into two sections. The lower portion of the small intestine is attached to the newly created stomach pouch. This allows food to pass directly into the small intestine, where digestion continues. Bypassing a portion of the small intestine decreases the absorption of calories and nutrients. The upper portion of the small intestine is reconnected to the lower portion of the intestine. The bile and pancreatic fluids from the liver and pancreas allow food to be completely digested. As with all weight loss procedures, behavior modification and dietary compliance plays a critical part in determining the long-term success of the procedure. All surgery presents risks. Weight, age, and medical history determine your specific risks. Ask your doctor if bariatric surgery is right for you.